Hey, what's going on guys? Happy Monday morning. Hopefully you're doing well. I uh, wanted to do a quick video and just kind of recap uh, this past week and how my goals and just how my four areas went as far as the fitness side, the mental side, um, relationships, as well as the money. And uh, this is good accountability for me. And this is something also that I can reflect on for this next week and the goals that I have for that. The fitness side felt good. The 30 minutes of running, the one gallon of water. Thursday, I did not complete the gallon of water as well as yesterday. I didn't complete the gallon of water. The other days, I did complete it. So that's something that even though I did drink water, I stayed hydrated. That still was something that I struggled with, but I didn't achieve that goal, which I can get better at. Um, but physically I feel better. I feel, I feel like I am, uh, losing weight and gaining energy. The breakfast is super important. I've learned as far as protein goes, and I've tried to utilize just the basics, you know, the, the protein, the whey protein that I use, the, uh, eggs that I buy from the grocery store and just having, having that as well as the Greek yogurt. And uh, I feel I am, I am pretty consistent when it comes to my breakfast uh, choices and just keeping that as a discipline. And uh, it helps me at work, especially with the, the work, the environment that I'm in, the heavy lifting. It is nice to have uh, that strength and that core strength as far as uh, what the protein provides. And uh, of course, staying hydrated as well. Um, as far as the learning goes, 10 pages of reading, I feel I did really well at that. I kind of went back and forth when it came to what books I was reading. Uh, when I started out, I finished the um, the John Eldridge book, The uh, Wild at Heart, uh, trying to think of it. The Wild at Heart, which it was a good book. And then I started a survival learning book that, uh, that I've had for the longest time on the shelf and I'm actually flipping through it. And it is actually something that probably is not a, probably not the best read through. It has a lot of steps and skills that you can apply and that you want to apply and get good at. So this may take me a little bit longer than usual. Um, relationships, why relationship wise, I felt, uh, I felt pretty good about it. Um, the spending time, my wife, who is super busy with school, um, she has another side job that she does. She She's starting her own business and just spending time with her and communicating with her. I have not been good at that this week. So this is something I need to initiate and I need to work better on is that communication. Uh, my two daughters, uh, spending time with them, I felt was good. The YouTube is my enemy. Um, the, the access and the ease of putting them on YouTube while I do stuff is so enticing and it lets me focus on my work, but I'm not focusing on them and they need to be my priority as far as being that dad who is involved and who is a leader who they can look up to, I need to be there and be present. Uh, the money side, the money side has been pretty good as far as savings goes. I did not keep track of my expenses that I talked about in the previous video, and I need to write that down. And that's probably going to be something I need to make a video on accountability uh, on a daily basis, uh, make it an accountability probably a number one priority for this week is, is probably the, the money side and just keeping track of, of what I'm spending my money on. I did, as I said in previous shorts, that the gas station was my number one struggle. And it's always, it's in the perfect spot when I'm getting off work, I'm hungry, I'm tired. Hey, shoot, let's just get a snack and, and a energy drink. Couple days I did really well. One day, uh, my self talk got the, got the better of me, and I got me a energy drink and things that I said were healthy in my mind. But looking back, I I could have done without them. Um, the run was was fine, and I didn't need them. Um, 
but it's going to be a good week. Um, it's going to be pretty busy and uh, works works getting uh, getting pretty consistent. And I just need to take care of myself in all these areas because I know that as I get older, my it's going to take more work to get the same results. And I want to set myself up for success in all these areas. Um, if you could do me a favor, if you can subscribe to our Daily Struggles TX and to where I can interact with y'all. I am also on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, this is brand new and it would be a big help to me in my personal life, in my professional life, and hopefully this is something that can help uh, you in uh, whatever realm, whatever age group, uh, whatever situation you're in. If you are trying to better yourself and you are your mind and your your mental identity, it's 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 getting the best of you and you feel like you are quitting each and every day when you are actually struggling and you are failing, but you're struggling, you're not giving up. And even though you want to quit, wanting to quit is different than actually quitting. Um, and we can have that on a daily basis, multiple times during the day is just, Hey, just, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm good. I have a wonderful family. I have a good steady 40 hour, you know, job and, and a house and everything like that. But I mean, uh, for some, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can relate. Hopefully, uh, you know, there's something more out there. I feel I am not, I am too comfortable that there's so much more that I can give for, for my family, for myself, myself being number one, I know I can achieve more and I know I have a lot more energy and the greatest enemy is me when it comes to bettering myself. It's just the mental, um, the mental aspect, the identity that I put in my head and I'm always looking back at those past experiences and letting that dictate my present and my future. And I have all these big goals, these big dreams, but they're not going to come to fruition. And me expecting them to be there 15 years from now or 10 years from now, five years from now, they're not going to be there unless I take the necessary steps and sacrifices to get there. Am I even close? No, but I'm taking steps each and every day. And hopefully this video and the subsequent videos that I'm going to be putting out on my pages will help you wherever you're at. Do not give up. Do not give in. Do not be comfortable. Stay uncomfortable. Put yourself in situations where you had a choice and you made the hard choice. It's so hard. It's so hard to do that each and every day and have that integrity when you're by yourself. And I'm speaking to me. You know, I'm preaching to the choir. I need to watch myself when I'm by myself. And what is my, what is my thought process? And what am I doing during the day? I have all this time. Focus is squarely on me and what I need to do. Am I a hundred different places? Usually I am, but that can, that needs to change. And so I appreciate you watching this video real brief. Um, it was a good week. I took proper steps. I failed not giving up, not quitting, struggling well. That's the key. Um, I will continuously, continuously do shorts throughout the week and, and give you all updates. I'll also check my Facebook and my Instagram. And I do like to post on my stories just some of the people that I look up to um, during, uh, during my daily quiet times and my daily reflections. And some of these guys, you know, they're, they're, they are where I want to be. They are where I want my family to be and to where we can have freedom and be able to give generously. So y'all have a wonderful rest of your Monday. I appreciate you watching and y'all struggle well. Peace guys.